Table tennis fans all around the world, welcome to the final match here at the 2022 China Construction Bank European Top 16 Cup in Montreux. I'm your commentator, Fraser Riley, and on screen, Trolls Moragard, the young Swedish sensation, who many call the new Waldner of table tennis, up against the 2020 finalist, looking for his first title as well in European men's singles caliber, Darko Jorgic of Slovenia. An incredible talent as well. Amazing backhand, 23 years of age. It'll be a very interesting matchup indeed with guaranteed highlights. Expect the unexpected with Trolls Moragard. An incredible world championships coming runner up. Amazing for Sweden. Having back to back men's singles finalists at the world championships. And of course, Christian Carlsen and Matthias Falk winning the men's world double title. Incredible for them. Both these players now in the top 20 in the world. And it doesn't seem like two minutes ago when these two were playing in the European Youth Championship events and seeing them now more physically developed. So much better in pretty much every area of the sport. Incredible. Two players under the age of 24 in the men's final here. Both right-handed, shake hand, attacking players. We have studied each other very much so. Two stars of Europe, youngsters, both coming through against the top two German seeds. Jorgic beating Franziska four games to one, and Modigard beating Timo Ball, the same score. You see the hexagonal blade, Stiga cyber shape of Modigard. New technology entering the sport. It's always innovating, changing, modernizing. Look at the backhand of Darko Jorgic. Something to behold, the Darko Sparko. In my opinion, the strongest backhand in the world against a dead ball. Unbelievable raw power. Trolls as well, adding the backhand topspin to his game. But he still has that punch that he had as a junior. World rank 17, Jorgic, one above Trolls. Jorgic will start us off here in the men's singles final. Catches the edge on the first point, but at least it didn't happen at 9 all. Less painful. Acknowledged by both players, but not recognized by the umpires on that occasion. Must have been very subtle. Trolls goes for the shovel push. Makes the first error of the match. Nice opening the shoulders, coming across the ball, disguising the placement. Wrong foot to Jorgic, 3-1 now to the young Swede. Darko coming in with the pendulum serve. Which tends to be topspin because he likes to open up the rally. Straight away with the backhand. Over the table usually. Now you can see when he spins, Trolls is so good at the punch. Jokic is going to have to be wary of that weapon. Three times, two of which Trolls has won. Chop block off the net and Darko misses the signature backhand on this occasion. The last time these two played was in 2018, which Darko won three games to love. Very clever from Jorgic over the table with the flick. Reminiscent actually of Paul Drinkall of England has a very good over the table flick.
Ooh. Very fortunate indeed. These two have actually only ever played each other in team events. Indicated by the best of five scores. So this is the first time they've ever met in a best of seven. And the biggest stage in which they've done so. Huge opportunity for both. Obviously, Jorgic has been here before. Lost to Timo Ball in 2020 here in Montreux. But thanks to Scholte, doesn't have to play him again. Ooh, thought we were going to see a Simon Galzi versus Fan Zendong around the net. Couldn't reach it that time. We know Moragard is capable of pretty much anything on the table. Wow. Well, Charles managed to keep that top spin serve tight. So relaxed in the hands. And how fast he covers it with a big swing. Wow. Jorgic from almost under the table, brushing up the back of the ball. Incredible. Table awareness. Contacting the ball so fine to get the arc. Oh, the net doesn't matter. Charles comes across it with a windscreen wiping forehand. Disturbing the anticipated motion of the ball. 7 9, Jogic with the serves. Lovely combination there, covering the forehand side with the backhand flick. As we see a lot of players doing nowadays in the modern game, it's easy to flick. With more spin with the backhand than it is with the forehand because of the wrist anatomy. Disappointment for Jorgic, but Trulls was brave in this step around. What? Wow, what a point, unbelievable. The Jorgic backhand away from the table, insane. The Trolls hangs on and look at how much it means. Jorgic wants more from himself, bring it. But the Swede in the lead in this men's singles final. Hmm. Well, Jorgic, when he tends to go for that pendulum serve, usually topspin. So maybe he wants to vary that a little bit more. Two quick points against Sir for Moragard. Now he has his own, and that's one thing that makes him so special, his ability to dictate the terms from his own serve. Always unpredictable. Goes for the chop block out of position again. Lovitz initiates with the switch down the line. So deadly with that punch. Like Tyson Fury with the jab. So flat. 
I'll make that ball. Oh, really clever from Jorgic. Goes down the line, serving in the backhand from the forehand side. Fades it. Exactly where he put the serve. Wrong foot to Morgad. That was an incredible receive. So much backspin and you have to be so relaxed to be able to play it. Seems at home out here, the 19 year old. so special with the block as is Jorgic Ooh, I'm not sure whether that caught the edge or the side Jorgic says the side Charles isn't convinced This is the opener down the line. It was definitely there to hit. A gift sent from Jorgic to Moragard on that occasion. The second time. The Swede has the lead, 7-5. Look at the angle on that touch, though. Oh, my goodness. A combo from heaven. A combination that we've seen so often of him in this competition. And again, deja vu. We've been here before. Oh, and a chop. He's like a clever, naughty kid in the classroom, Moragard, because he always knows how to get out of trouble. Oh, Jorgic goes for the hand switch. Moragard with a ridiculous run of points. And right now for Jorgic, it's a sprint, not a marathon, because he needs to get back into this race quickly. Jorgic will be starving for this win. Hungry ever since his final in Montreux two years ago. Great serve. Hook serve with backspin. Coming around the side of the ball to try and disguise the spin. Contact motion. And that's a shot. I suppose Morgan okay, wants to be making nine times out of ten. breakdance move from Moragard. What a shot that was. That was like Shushin. The way he spun while playing that counter. Insane.
Oh. These rallies are something to behold for all to enjoy. Jorgic doing well to deal with that slap from Moragard. Nice from Jorgic. That's the level there with the backhand. The money maker. But this is the thing, you know, Jorgic is amazing with the backhand, but it, he's used to playing it against a more clean, orthodox backhand. Moragard's punching to try and take that weapon away from him. Oh, and makes the error this time after the net trolls. Goes for the same serve again before the net, and it works a treat for the young Swede. Six all. The momentum still seems to be with trolls. It seems like he has to try and work a little bit less. Than Jorgic right now to win a point. That's just the way it seems, though. Oh, no, come on. Come on, come on. Trolls. Give it a rest. There's a reason why they call him the young Waldner, and it's not just because he's Swedish either. It's the magic. Playing as aggressively as he is, Trolls, and still some fear into Jorgic that even if he spins cross court with the backhand, he's going to get leathered. Oh, that would have been a nice serve, and it would have fooled Jorgic as well. Really hard to tell where he's going with his serves. finds himself in a great position. Oh, electric. A thousand volt forehand. It's but his ability to keep a topspin serve tight then allows Charles the attack. What a Chiquita flick from Jorgic, as good as a advanced player's backhand topspin that was. Such a short stroke and it's straight past Moragard. Very clutch shot, 9-10. And makes the service mistake, slightly rushed. Trolls devastated with that. Jorgic back in this final now, as we know he could well be. It's just incredible, isn't it, how Trolls has gone from a sort of European youth champion to vice world junior champion to, in the blink of an eye, vice world champion in men's singles.
Now he could take his first major European senior title. That was a cheeky chap shot from Jorgic. It's like he was swatting a fly. Sort of just get out of the way. No! <laughs> what is this? That short top spin serve into that forehand area that's causing Jorgic some trouble right now. Because it's so wide to the forehand as well, it makes Jorgic wary about playing that backhand flick. Then he leaves his backhand exposed. What a spin up that was from Trulls. So low to the table, revs, revs up the back, keeps the top spin low over the net. Makes it really hard for Jogic to counter. 2 5. That's the kind of bold receive we need to see more from Jogic. Nice. Moving trolls around from forehand to backhand. That is the way to go against a young Swede. Wasn't in the most comfortable zone there for Moragard to play that shovel receive. First bounce sort of went into the forehand, but it began to drift into the middle of trolls. And an uncharacteristic backhand miss from Jorgic, but that's because Trolls is playing it into the middle, knowing that Jorgic wants to play it from the backhand and step in before he knows what's coming. There you see it. It's not played into the backhand where he's comfortable, it's played into the middle. On the serve too. Winning so many points from the serve. Goes for that combo again, the point ender. So toss been Trull sniffed it, but couldn't taste it. Didn't extend the arm fully there on the backhand, so it bounced a bit more shallow on the table. It meant that Jorgic had to come in slightly more on the backhand. Oh. Seems like an easy miss, but it's just so unpredictable. That serve tight and wide. Tricky for Jorgic to flick that one. 9-8 to Trolls with the second serve. Incredible from Jorgic under pressure there. I thought for a second when Trull switched down the line, the point was over. Came in really nicely there with the forehand and then went across the body with the seatbelt shot. Balanced on a knife edge here in game four. Shot block and once again, Jorgic sends Trolls the wrong way. Well, this final's just got that bit more spicy.
Oh, so bold with the step around. So quick the way he moves around for that. You can't afford to let him recognize where it's going to go. And he's turned this around really well. Squatting forehand. And a net, that's got to hurt. Racket toss. Trulls 3-1 up. Jorgic had a taste of that fourth game there, but couldn't finish it off. Stay tuned for game five. Who is going to be the champion here in Montreux? What? If Houston wasn't enough, this could be another record-breaking victory for Trolls. Always has a fairy tale run to the final. He nearly lost to his teammate, Matthias Carlsen. Should I say Christian Carlsen? Yesterday. That went to the seventh. Darko hasn't been tested in the knockouts as much. But it's all about what it's like st stylistically and. Trust doesn't really let you get into a rhythm as much as other players do. Crisp backhand topspin from a Slovenian. Flawless start from Jorgic, who beat teammate in Starbrook and Patrick Francisca in his semi final match. Both the top two German seeds falling, and Francisca. No off to offer at this competition, recovering from the injury still. Liam Pitchford as well. Well, Jorgic has entered beast mode. Could we see a 10 love and possible mercy point? Oh, and it catches the edge. Seemed like that was the only thing possible that was going to stop Jorgic in this situation right now. Yeah, can't put Jorgic there with that kind of ball. Too good. So just lapsed in focus in this set. Jorgic has been impeccable though. And there we go, 11 points to one. The most dominant game we've seen. Jorgic is right back in this once again. Can't have done much more there. In fact, he couldn't have done anything better there. The only point Charles won was on that edge. Perfect from Jorgic. Amazing story this year in Montreux. Two of Europe's bright hopes for the future already stamping their authority on the senior stage. Here at the top 16. 
Second final for Jorgic. First for Trolls. And a strong start from the Swede going for that shot. Top spin serve. Wow, straight down the line. See you later, alligator, says Jorgic. Soon as Trolls commits, that's the only risk. That backhand down the line from Jorgic, one of the best in the world. But then misses a ball that he doesn't really want to ever miss. Bouncing, letting his presence be felt by his opponent. This could be going the distance, couldn't it? Seems to have flown by this match. Doesn't feel like we're in the sixth in a way. Enjoyed this thoroughly and time does go by when you're having fun. Well, you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen, and Jorgic was cooking a storm with those shots, spraying them around. Yep. Beautiful maneuverability and table awareness from the Slovenian star. His last two games, Trulls has only got three points, one of which was an edge. Wow. Squatting forehand, redirecting cross-court. Both players quiet, philosophical, pensive. Thinking about the next move. Tactical change from Jorg, it's flicking into the middle. Meaning that Charles is going to have to step across to play the backhand punch or play the forehand from the middle. Ooh, the bat breaker, half long push. Looks like the racket's going to have to be checked out here. Maybe some slight damage on the edge of the bat by the rubber. Here comes the official. Says it's okay, so we can get going straight away. Both these players have shown that given the opportunity, they're delivering. Darko's breakthrough tournament, if it wasn't what he achieved before the Olympics, beating Haramoto in Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games, as well as Pitchford. Incredible for him. Trolls the world champion. Unreal achievement. Look at the size of that swing from Moragard, but... Jorgic looking more comfortable now. He looks like he's found his distance mid from the table instead of standing too close. He needs to give himself more time against Trolls' big swings. What a flick from Trolls. Coming around the side of the ball, curving it into the body of Jorgic. That is high difficulty play. And it was made to look easy. Trolls goes for the all or nothing backhand down the line. Doesn't land. Jorgic. 
looks more like himself out here now. Could he be going to a decider? It's looking likely. Schulz goes for the little dink over the net. Bit of back spin on that. Jogic can't play the drive down the line. Three more game points for Darko. Trolls with the serve. What's Darko going to come up with on the receive here? Will it be a flick? Or will he touch it and try to get in? Well, he touches it, but Trolls gets in. 10 8 now, but Darko has the serves. Which gives him the advantage. What's he going to do with them? Anything we haven't seen yet? Or will he go with what he knows best with the backhand serve from the forehand? Looks like it's going to be the latter. Troll survives. And a timeout call from Darko. We're in that kind of scenario right now. Let's see what happens following the timeout. Trolls ties it up after the timeout. Distinguished, extinguished. Oh! Would you believe it? <laughs> well, Trolls isn't laughing. How fast was that? Jorgic cashes in with the forehand and it pays off in full. We are going to a deciding game. One game left here in Montreux and who dares wins? Game seven coming right up. Well, 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 look what we have here. A decider. How fitting that this match is decided by a single game. Wow, what a start. Open space. Decent push from Jorgic. Trolls reads it like a book. Jogic equalises. He's got a lot better with that forehand. Makes a huge difference. Oh, opens the racket face, bends the wrist and manipulates the ball down the line. That is a really, really top shot. Well... Darko. We've seen 
seen Trills come back so much in the last few weeks. Oh, a much needed net at this stage in the match. Just had a mind of its own, pulled itself over. Oh, and a loose serve. Trills eats it up like a tasty snack. Both these players, hot property right now in the world of table tennis. Young European stars announcing themselves on the world stage, lighting up the court. I thought for a second that net might be coming down after Trill stepped it. Oh, it's hitting the net so many times. A change ends after the next point. Who's going to be in the lead? The Swede or the Slovenian? Half long push. Daco can't pick it up. Trolls 5 4 in the lead. So composed to change tactics. There we see that recovery off the net from Moragard with the punch. And then that top spin of Jorgic goes into the net. 4 5. Jorgic pumped up. Great flick, you can see how much body tools was trying to put into that forehand. Miscontacts it. Oh, what a flick from Jorgic. I tell you what, if that backhand was a share, I would have put all my money into it. On the receive as well, winning those points is huge. 7-5 now to Jorgic. Flat receive from Trulls. Jorgic struggles to spin. 7-6. But he keeps the cushion. Business end. 6-8. He's going to go for the top spin, is he? He does, and there's nothing much Jorgic can do as Trolls punches it with the jab. Straight cross court. That combo's worked really well for him. Gonna do it again, or is he gonna do something differently now with the serve? What a time to miss. That's gonna hurt. But he's still there. Jorgic won't be complaining with that. 9 7. Oh, and the combo fires that backhand, and the Darko Sparko down the line. Is he about to be crowned champion here in Montreux? Not yet. No timeouts remaining for either player. Otherwise, we probably would have seen one now. Oh! Well, well, well. Does this teenager get phased on the big stage? Amazing, everybody here in the crowd. Oh, oh my goodness me! All cards on the table, an ace forehand, three match points saved from Trolls. I'm getting flashbacks 
to Houston. Ten all. So composed, Jorgic managed to stay cool during all this pressure. A fourth match point for the Slovenian to take the title after coming runner-up in 2020. Goodness me, this is tense. Jorgic does it! He is champion, the racket's thrown, and there he is! A Mar Long like moment from 2015. He's reeling in everything, all the energy that this 23 year old has, and he is loving it here. Look at the celebration. After coming runner up in 2020, he takes his first senior European title. Bravo, Jorgic, and commiserations to the Swedish superstar. A massive embrace, lots of love shown and it could not have been any closer. What a match. I don't know what to say. That was incredible. A brave performance from Moragard. He was 3-1 up, let's not forget. So three points, three games in a row for Jorgic. Had his back to the wall, but he fired back and he is the top 16 champion. Thank you so much for joining us. Stay tuned for an interview and the award ceremony coming after a short break. Darko Jorgic, uh, congratulations on uh, that uh, great win and uh, plenty of applause in the hall for you there. That was a tough fight, a very hard fight, and you knew whom you were up against. Uh, Truls beat uh, Timo Boll this morning. When you heard that, what did you think and how were you going to prepare to try and beat Truls? Yeah, first of all, thanks, thanks for supporting me, of course. And yeah, uh, Truls is an amazing player, uh, amazing performance, couple of weeks, uh, he's playing really good. Since World Championships, uh, he was silver, of course, this is an amazing result. And amazing uh, performance, of course, of him, and uh, yeah, I was just uh, speaking with my coach uh, about tactic a little bit, yeah, and uh, first of all, until 3-1, I had no, no chance at all, a little bit, of course, to win some more sets to be 2-2. But uh, yeah, then on 3 1, I said I have to change something to be more aggressive, especially on, uh, on a service receive. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy that I come back from 3 1. Um, that then 11 1 in the fifth game, how much of that was a, a turning point and really decisive for you? Yeah, of course, for me, it was a lot. Uh, it was giving me a little bit more confidence. Uh, 
that I can really beat him on from 3-1. Uh, of course, uh, I think this was not turning uh, his shape. He was still uh, relaxed and he still was playing his best table tennis. But yeah, I was just fighting uh, until the end and I'm really happy that after a long, long time, uh, until 3-1, uh, I reached and won this match. You seem to enjoy that moment of triumph jumping onto the table, but how much was that also a release of tension after all the pressure of the Montreux weekend? Of course, a lot. Uh, I was just really happy. This is uh, third top 16 for me, uh, one silver, one gold medal and one quarter final. And uh, yeah, it was just amazing performance. Uh, and I was just really happy that this tournament is over and I'm the winner. And uh, great spectators as well, as you say. So congratulations, and we'll see you soon at the award ceremony. Darko Jorgic, Felicitation.